April 242016 Sunday this morning the mother and the young daughter brought in these two terrapins the main complaint was swollen eyes but actually the, the big problem is not the swollen eyes actually it's the shell rot which are manifested as white patches and uh, the quality of the shell is so poor that especially in this big one that uh, there is bleeding the whole water was reddish and uh, you can see actually below below you can see the red blood the bleeding from the lower shell the blood the pinkish color the blood huh? now for this one it's also active you can see clearly that uh, there's an indentation as well indentation this shows that the quality is poor that the shell has sunken in and uh, this one is not so active as the other one it cannot upright him cannot upright himself but you can see that both beings both stay together so the, they will be affecting each other now this one eats more food more than his fair share of the food both are siblings and they were bought as hatchlings two years ago and you can see this one is double the weight and the length is maybe one and a half times longer and both being siblings so you can see that uh, there is a there is a bit of uh, bullying involved in the sense that the big one eats the food of the small one both are being housed together so what happened is the, the owner changes water twice a day probably not, there is not enough time for drying up so the shell becomes moist and then most of the time so becomes infected and it starts to rot it normally it starts as white patches first white patches small white spots and then it spreads further and further as you can see so they, they're not supposed to house together the so house separately and uh, now I give them the space to dry it up space to dry up so that uh, they can uh, recover let's see some sun wash the shell clean it up and then give them the dry drying up in the sun apply antifungal cream and um, using the brush to brush away the, the bacteria and fungus this will take some weeks to recover mainly they have to be in a dry area most of the time and only have the wet area to eat and drink let's say uh, four hours then with, with the four hours of water and 20, 20 hours of dry talking and also cleaning the shells brushing the shells and and uh, applying the antiseptic wash to clean up the infected infected uh, shell as you can see this one has not been cleaned yet this has not been cleaned yet you can see that uh, the shell is still dirty with the blood from probably the other bigger terrapin whose underbelly is uh, whose lower shell is uh, full of blood as you can see there when there's bleeding this shows that the shell is very thin the quality is no good so now we have to wash this one and uh, treat it April 24, 2016, Topayo Vets, 5pm Saturday